You know, if you notice that picture there, it almost seems like a glaze, starting yeah, to see some mild ponding. That's how it's going to be throughout the day, kind of picking up. This is more of a steady system, more of a real rain event, you guys, not so much just a downpour. Okay, so here's what the deal is. Northeast Ohio and surrounding areas are currently under a flood watch. They're not going to issue a flood warning until we actually start to see some flooding occurring or it is imminent, okay? So that'll probably happen this afternoon or evening. Here's a look at your weather headlines. Now, the heaviest rain is going to be starting early in the afternoon around lunchtime and probably lasting until about 6 p.m. Then we're going to get a little bit of a lull overnight, okay? So Saturday evening into Sunday morning, it's going to quiet down, just some scattered showers. More rain will come up on tomorrow. And later on in the show, I'm going to break down why we're seeing that lull and why more rain is coming. But let's get to the radar. As you can already see, it's starting to pick up. Started off really misty this morning. Now we're starting to see those oranges and yellows come in, signifying that moderate rainfall. Now we did get a report already of areas like Summit County right off 77 starting to see some ponding. So even though they haven't issued a flood warning, you have to be cautious of the fact that there will be localized flooding in a lot of spots. Really coming down out towards Medina as well as Milton just north of Worcester and the track of this is really interesting you see we're right over or under the low pressure so it's not just tracking one way east or west rather circulating so right now this rain is kind of picking up and moving in a circle that's why we're going to get hit twice multiple times with this wet weather. Here's a look at that future cast. I want you to notice the timestamp as we push ahead. All right, so a lot of the heavy, bulky rain is coming down towards Canton this morning, as well as off the lake shore. Uh, as we head into the afternoon there, you can see it's very sporadic. We start to see some pop-up showers. Here's a lull I was talking about. As we head into the overnight hours, we'll get a little bit of quieting. Still rain coming down out there, okay? And then it's Sunday where we start to get some more rain coming up on the back end. So we get these systems and you're thinking, well, what about storm threats? Not too much work worried about any severe storms, nothing like that. More so the chance for wind is very high and the chance for flooding is high as well. Okay, so we're going to talk more about this. I'm going to prep you guys. We're going to look at the timing and also the dynamics that plays to why we're seeing this weather. For